Good morning students, I am Sir Emilio T. Tara Jr. and welcome to our mathematics class. For our learning of objectives for our first day, we have describes and generates patterns. So before anything else, let's have this activity. Identify if the picture below shows a pattern or not. For number one, we have a banderitas. Now, I want you to focus on the colors of our banderitas. Do they show pattern or not? Yes, very good. The colors of the pa of the colors of our banderitas shows a pattern. Next, we have coffee beans. We have here three sets of coffee beans. The first one has four. The second one has six, and the last one last set has eight beans so the question is do they show a pattern or not yes very good the coffee beans shows pattern next we have here ta our tahoe shells do they show pattern or not very good the whole shells shows a pattern. Number four, stack of stones in the beach. Now, as you can see, do the numbers of the stones stacks shows a pattern or not? Very good. This also shows a pattern. And last is the dates in the calendar for the month of October. I want you to focus on the Saturdays of October. So we have 3, 10, 17, 24, and 31. The question is, do they show a pattern or not? Very good. So, um, the pictures that we have shown shows a pattern so since we are talking about patterns let's define what a pattern is patterns include a series of sequ or sequence that generally repeats itself the patterns that we observe in our daily lives are those of colors actions shapes numbers etc they can be related to any event or object and can be finite or infinite in mathematics, patterns are a set of numbers arranged in sequence such that they are related to each other in a specific rule. Now let us define what a sequence is. A sequence is a succession of numbers in specific or logical orders. Each number in a sequence is called a term. The first and the last term of the sequence are referred to as extremes. So the sequence here, the 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, is called a finite sequence because it has a last term which is 15. So when we say finite, it has a last term or may katapusan. Well, the opposite of that one is infinite sequence. We have 10, 12, 14, 16, and so on. So this is a, an example of infinite sequence because it has no last term. As you can see here, we have three dots, which is called ellipses, that signifies it will just continue or um, tuloy-tuloy lang siya at wala siyang katapusan. Now, from the activity that we have, that we had, let us generate from the, let us generate from the pattern. So, we, the color of banderitas, green, blue, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, red, orange, and yellow. So, what color do you think will come next? Very good, green. Green. 
how about the number of coffee beans? We have 4, 6, 8, and very good, 10. How about the whole shelves? We have close, open, close, open, open, close, open, open, open. The next will be close. Very good. And how about the number of stacks of stones? The next number will be 6. For the last one, we have the dates in the calendar for the month of October. We have 3, 10, 17, 24, and the last one will be very good, 31. So, as we can observe, meron lang tayong pattern na sinusundan, may rule, specifically dito, na plus 7, tapos hanggang 31 lang, dahil nga calendar ito. Next, let us analyze if the given six sequence is finite sequence or infinite sequence. The first one is 10, 20, 30, 40, and 15. Okay, this one is a finite sequence because it has last term which is 15. Now let's go to the second one. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. So is this a finite or infinite sequence? Very good. This one is an infinite sequence as we can see. It has ellipses at the end of the term or the end of the sequence which tells us that the numbers goes on and it has no last terms last term so for the third one let's have 5 10 15 20 and so on up to 100 so this one is a bit tricky because it has um, ellipses and the last term which is 100. So, um, what do you think? What kind of sequence do you think it is? For this one, this is a finite sequence because even though it has ellipses, the Significa, significa, signifies that it only goes on. It also has a last term, which means that it has ending. So, um, the ellipses here only tells us that there are numbers between 20 and 100 that are included in this sequence. So that would be all for our today's lesson. I hope you learned something and um, see you tomorrow. Goodbye class.